Hi, Kevin Henry with Dental Economics. I'm here with Dr. John Molinari and just listen to him talk a little bit about the vaccination uh, and some of the controversy that's going on right now. Dr. Molinari, what, are, what do dental professionals need to know about the controversy going on in vaccinations in general? Dental professionals and medical professionals need to understand, first of all, that the use of clinical vaccines has been the major success story in combating infectious diseases over the last century. We have eliminated uh, smallpox from the face of the earth. We have uh, virtually eliminated polio, many vaccine preventable diseases like diphtheria, tetanus, whooping cough, measles, mumps, rubella, uh, have seen dramatic de declines in their incidence uh, since the advent of their vaccines. Knowing that then, what we have to be aware of is the fact that nothing is perfect. And as a result of, from uh, perceptions, misperceptions, uh, publications that have not been based on scientific documentation, uh, we are seeing an emerging trend uh, where people are fearful of vaccinations because of the perceived side effects. Certainly no vaccine is 100% safe or effective, but they are extensively tested and retest it again to make sure that they are going to be the best possible uh, weapon, if you will, against a specific infectious disease. Even after vaccines are released, they're constantly reevaluated with larger numbers of people receiving them to see if they're doing what they were supposed to be doing. In fact, there have been a couple of vaccines that have been recalled in recent years because they were not providing the safety that was expected or there was some uh, side effect that was more than what the public health officials and, and agencies had, had thought was possible. Uh, an example here would be the Lyme disease vaccine and rotavirus vaccine. What health professionals need to understand is that vaccines work. And when you see stories coming out about developmental disorders in children as a result of receiving vaccines, the first question that needs to come up is show the documentation. The one study that has been used as the standard bearer for this anti-vaccine uh, cult, if you will, has been disproven. There were all sorts of deals that were going with it. The whole thing would actually make a very bad novel, okay. as it turns out. Looking at that, though, as people have used that information, and as we've had more anecdotal cases, people have now become more fearful about vaccinating themselves and vaccinating their children. The result of this is that many of the diseases that were on the decline are starting to come back. Polio was back in the United States, we're seeing an increase in measles. The United Kingdom is having a major outbreak in lumps and some of these other disorders because of lack of vaccination. What dental health professionals need to do is when they're talking to people, they need to use the science. And there are many, many scientific articles which have been well controlled using millions of children in multiple countries to show that there isn't any association between some of these developmental disorders and vaccination in children. Included in these studies are also uh, investigations uh, looking at the effects of Thimerosal, which contains ethyl mercury, and the effect on developmental disorders. And again, no association. Those studies are still ongoing, but on the other side, you have this perception and misperception, which is very difficult to combat. Health professionals need to have the right information and to use it to address the issues so we can stop this 